What is going on YouTube and welcome to the Legion of Comics. I'm Mark and I've got some exciting news. Plus, I've got an AOK -okay from Kid Ron who prints on Instagram, which I'm really excited to get into, show you guys what it is, as well as do a little review on it. But before we go any farther, I need you to check this out. So if you haven't already, be sure to go ahead and hit that like button, smash the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. I'm even closer to 500 subscribers now. And that means that the next giveaway is right around the corner. And what I'll be giving away, how to enter to win and all those good details will be coming up in the very near future. We got to get past that point first. So some cool things have happened here recently. I did just get done doing something really cool. Just finished a really awesome project with a new guy, Ryan. And that'll be getting announced and uh, be posting about it and uploading it to the channel in a few days. We got to polish some things on it, but very excited about it. Be on the lookout for that. And uh, here recently, I saw that obviously I'm a John Jang fan and they started teasing his upcoming release. And I reached out to the shop owner and spoke with him for a few days and stuff. And he went ahead and gave me some information on this book so that I could go ahead and put it out there. All these details will be getting announced either, uh, I believe, later today when this video is actually going to be dropping is when all the details will be getting announced. So just trying to put it out there. I'm really excited about this book, this cover, and uh, all around. And uh, I haven't heard of this shop before, so I thought it would be a cool idea to try to go ahead and introduce some other people to this shop to kind of let people know of all the different options of stuff that's out there. But uh, if you follow me at all or know me, you already know the, uh, that I'm big into John Jang. And I'm a really big fan of Department of Truth. And it just revealed uh, that he has issue number seven. He'll have an exclusive for that one. And there it is. That is the trade dress. And again, it's number seven. And that's by John Jang. And let me get this information rolling here. So we'll go over all this. But uh, the name of the shop is Heat Seeker Comics. And I did first get introduced to these guys. Uh, found them through Facebook. Like I said, I reached out to the shop owner, Greg, and talked to him for a while. And uh, this trade dress is coming in at $14.99, which is a good price point for a trade dress. It's on the low to average side, so that's really cool. I know a lot of them uh, that I that I deal with are sometimes at $19.99. Even the more expensive ones are at $24.99. But there are more than one option to get this book. So you can get the trade dress by itself for uh, $14.99, or you can get the trade dress and the virgin in a set together. Now, this image does have the uh, the name of the shop and stuff at the bottom of it, but it is a Virgin variant that they'll be releasing. So the set will be $39.99. So you get the trade by itself for $14.99 or the set for $39.99, which also is on the lower end of average. As somebody who collects a lot of these sets and everything, uh, a lot of times it's roughly around $50 to $60 for the set. I don't know, buddy. You got to just head on back to bed. Tell mommy. Tell mommy. But I'm really looking forward to this set. And uh, so it's going on sale Friday, this coming Friday, which is the 26th. And it's going to go on pre sale at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And it's limited to a thousand trade dresses and 500 virgins. And again, the only way to get the virgin is, as, is in the set as usual. So if you don't want to miss out on that, Department of Truth is blowing up right now. They had the official announcement that it will be a TV show. So you're steadily watching those prices rise. And uh, you never know what kind of first appearances can be in any of these issues coming up. We're still in the really low numbers. We're still in single digits. So new characters can be popping up. We could be getting deaths of characters. And you know, we saw in other popular comic series that got turned into TV shows like Walking Dead, like the death of Shane that happened early on, making it a key book. So we're, Anybody who's collecting this book or specking on this book has to be looking out for things like that and really uh, going in on these lower number issues. And any of these ratio variants just gives you, you know, that's a, it's a slightly more rare cover than just a standard A and B, which I'll also be picking up off from my local comic shop. I always get the, at least one cover from them. But yeah, there's that. One more time. It's heatseekercomics.com. All this information will be in the description below. Friday this week, the 26th, 6 p.m. Eastern time is when the sales go live. $14.99 for the trade dress, $39.99 for the set. So be there. Don't miss out because Department of Truth is on fire. Next, we have a box from 
Kid Rano Prince on Instagram. Now, I know a lot of you might know him, and if you don't know him, he is who made this custom stand up here. It's 3D printed. He can custom make them however you want. Uh, there are some limitations on that. You know, you can't ask him to do crazy stuff, but uh, he 3D prints them. He hand paints them. That one up there is capable of holding a raw book with ease. Old slabs, uh, they fit in there just fine. You do have to be a little bit careful setting the slabs here. Weighted on the bottom, but the stand itself isn't ginormous. And uh, CBCS slabs don't really work that great for it. I don't know how many people out there have CGC as well as CBCS slabs, but the, the bottoms of CBCS slabs are not, uh, what is the word, symmetrical? Like one side is like that and one side is kind of slanted so they have a natural tilt to them so uh i believe that this is in fact the new stand that he's been working on he said he's making some modifications and improvements i think i just put my address out there but oh well but yeah we're going to put this thing together and see how it goes different about it there's a gemini mail in here the Gemini mailer in here. So here's the stand, which it has its iconic triangle design to it. That's kind of his thing. Triangle. He's big. He, he is the Department of Truth guy, by the way. So it's kind of fitting that this came in the same day that I'm doing the announcements for that uh, variant because he is definitely the Department of Truth guy. And he's already dealing in triangles. So he's already got a little bit of conspiracy built into the, the style of the stand. I don't know if you see the back. But they have that iconic crisscrossing triangle. That is also on his logo. But he's a great guy. You can find him on Instagram. Reach out to him. He's awesome. Uh, connecting with other people in this community has been like one of the coolest parts and experiences for me. And he's uh, been on my channel numerous times with me, talking comics, uh, kind of smashing the Snyder Cut. He's He's got uh, zero expectations, but... A lot of hope for it. You know, he's not expecting much out of Zack Snyder. It kind of breaks my heart. I'm expecting a lot out of the guy. He's had a long time to figure this out and do it right. 70 million extra dollars at the tail end there. But uh, yeah, we're going to try to piece this together and see how it works. We're already coming out. I got a triangle. Oh, I see multiple. Oh, man, this is cool. So, this new design, I did uh, see, I've, I've seen some pictures and how it was uh, coming along and stuff. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, I know what this one is. Boom. Oh, my gosh. That's even more 3D popping. Look at that. 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 That's cool. There's another one here. So, this triangle. Oh, my gosh. This is cool. All right. I'm going to look now. I'm going to show you guys first what's on this one. Boom! The YouTube logo. Yes! Oh, man, that's awesome. And it just keys in, I'm guessing. Yes, that was smooth. All right, let's look at some of this real quick. So here's the what I got. I got the two, the two awesome emblems. I got this triangle that is pretty cool how it fits into there, but it's not made to stay in there. And then you have this piece, which is the stand. And this slides out. So this triangle fits right into the back. I'm going to set it right here where we can see. Well, first, let me show you this. This piece slides out so that it's made for slabs. And you slide this piece in, and it gives you what you need for raw books. So this thing is intricate. It's got a lot going on. And it has the two different logos that you can choose from. And they just key right into the front. Look at that. Fuego. That's way good. I'm going to test this out. I did go ahead and grab a couple of books just to see how it goes. So let's take the emblem out. It's going to be interchanging a good bit. So I'll take the raw book and set it down into there. Oh, that doesn't even have to. That doesn't even have to. Well, that's awesome. So as you see, that fits in there no problem. And without the peg in it, it fits just fine. And it's nice, very firm. Are these ones weighted down? Yeah, this one I don't think even has to be weighted down. It's got such a wider base on it. The raw books are always the easy one. So let's take a look at some slabages. Also pulled up the top loader. 
I know some people keep books in top loaders, so went ahead and grabbed one that I had in a top loader. So that top loader won't fit into the small key, so it would just be a natural drop in there. Nice, nice. So here comes the big test. Let's see how well it works for the weight of a slabages. So we have a nice CGC slab. Oh, wow, that has no give to it. I'm even giving it a little bounce here. No issues whatsoever. Wow. The quick drop. Yeah. So before you have to kind of like make sure you have the, stab, the slab stable in them. So that one quick drop in there really easily. But this is the one, like I mentioned before, that has a very symmetrical bottom, just smooth, straight, smooth. Now with CBCS lavages, they're a little different. The backs of them go straight up, and then the fronts of them kind of curve down. So it makes them not want to stand straight, but roll forward. So this is a new Team Titans number two first appearance of Deathstroke, Wade Wilson. Let's see how this rolls. Oh, my God. Because it gives it enough room, see, it wants to slide forward, but it has enough, it has enough given there for it to lean back. And it's past that teeter point. That's awesome. Let's do a quick drop. Oh, man. That solved that problem. These right here were not a good idea to put CBCS slabages in because they would want to very easily rock back forward. For C uh, CGC or Rawls, these work great. But, uh, man, that's the answer to the CBCS slabages right there. Then you have, boom, the key. Just key it right on in. Boom, we are rocking, man. That is awesome. That is, a, that is really nice. And I don't know what it is. I don't know what's different if it's the paint. Or what, but the colors on this one, the green might be a little bit more vibrant green. Just really, really pop. Oh, man, that is that is really nice. Thank you so much, brother. And uh, everybody, if you want custom sands, if you have a logo or if you have a superhero you like, he does it for all kinds of different comics. He's got one that is Erica's mask from Something is Killing the Children, which is super sweet. As you see, he's got the uh, the YouTube logo. I mean, he can, he can do all kinds of stuff, but check out his page on Instagram. I will have the uh, link to his uh, Instagram on here. And he also has a YouTube channel where he puts up content as well. So you can check him there. So I'll link that in as well. And boom, let's see what he put in here. As it says, it says right here on this note, be the best at what you do. That's his little sign off. So let's see what we got going on. I was not expecting him to send any books. I knew that he was going to be sending me a stand to check out the new stand, which, dude, amazing that is that is so amazing total total upgrade let's see there's a stack of books in here one two three Dude, that's wild dude you know what he has on here that's even cooler than the books i can't even see the books yet but pull tabs he's got pull tabs i have been plagued lately with uh mail calls with no pull tabs Keep it cool tabs. I'm so happy. So because he put cool tabs, I just effortlessly took these books out of that box. I opened the uh, state Kickstarter yesterday, and they used masking tape and did not put pool tabs. And just taking the tape off of the exclusive variant that I paid a lot of money for, it ripped the heavy-duty bag that it was in, so I had to rebag it. All right. I haven't looked at these yet. We got three books that I was not expecting. Let's see what they are. Are you ready? Oh my gosh. Secrets of the Legion of Superheroes. Look at that. Number three. Dude, he knows I'm a DC guy. Look at that. That is fire, dude. Will the Legion's last secret spell their doom? Don't miss this epic conclusion of the greatest Legion adventure of all time. Man, that is awesome, man. Thank you so much. Next. Oh, issue number two. That's issue three. Issue two. Did he put issues one, two, and three in here? Oh. Uh, is it there? The name of the one legionnaire who can save us all. Yes, Superboy. But if anyone else learns the name, it means the end of the legion. Old Brainiac 5 there. He was a cool character. It's really cool that Generations uh, Shattered 
Commandy was tasked with going to get the smartest person of their century. And uh, Skeets was referring to Brainiac, but he just assumed from legend that it had to be Superboy. So he ends up grabbing the wrong person and uh, the rest of them died. Last book. Lastly, what do we have? Is it number one? It is number one. Awesome, man. Stop. If you activate that computer, you'll expose the Legion's darkest secret. I must. The Legion is doomed. So that is fantastic. One, two, and three. Look at that. Thank you so much, brother. I, man, that is too cool. My goodness. Now that's some awesomeness right there. So thanks again. Look at that. All three of them just sit nicely in there. Three books fitting right in there. Not even squished in there. Plenty of room. Go check out Kidrano Prince on Instagram and on YouTube. Be sure Friday at 6 p.m. to go check out Heat Seeker Comics if you want to score that amazing, amazing John Jang variant for Department of Truth number seven. A really, really hot book right now. It's hard to go wrong on it. You never know what could be in it. And this is such a cool cover. I mean, it's the year of the bull. We have a big bull getting beamed up to these alien spaceships. And we have the, the monster demon thing at the bottom there. I mean, this book is just crazy. And this cover really encapsulates how crazy and how wicked it is. So don't miss out on that awesomeness. Don't miss out on any Department of Truth, really. But yeah, thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Be on the lookout for that announcement that me and new guy Ryan will be announcing. I'm sure we'll be posting about it before we drop the actual video. But it was so fun to do. It was so exciting. And be sure to go check out new guy. That's N-U-E-X-G-U-Y on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, wherever you're at. He is kind of thing. He's literally everywhere. But uh, awesome content from that guy as well. Thank you all for checking it out. Super excited. Thank you uh, so much, Kidrano. All I got to say is be the best at what you do.